Hey doll lovers, um, welcome to my channel, Doll Days 252. Um, today I have Gay Parisian. Um, she's a reproduction, a porcelain doll um, that I knew nothing about until yesterday. I went to a local vintage store called Rockstar Rust up here in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. And uh, it's a booth that has a lot of Barbies all the time, and they're um, usually the more expensive Barbies. Uh, my husband got me a Tokidoki from there. Um, my my daughter found me the um, um, the Bob Mackey Sun Goddess there, and my daughter-in-law found um, some of the my favorite Barbie lines there, the 1959 and the um, Peaches and Cream. And my daughter also got me a, she's a Dorothy doll. Um, I forget the year. I am going to do a video on her. Um, she doesn't look like your typical Dorothy. She's kind of like a, um, imagine what Dorothy could be kind of doll. Um, so anyways, I've gotten quite a few dolls from there. So they know me there. Um, and when I walked in yesterday, I went to get a, actually, I'll show you. It's a Garfield plushie um, because you don't really see Garfields that much anymore at the um, thrift stores or the um, flea markets and when you do they're kind of pricey but they had this cute little Garfield in his jammies with his little teddy bear um, and his little bunny rabbit slippers he was 20 bucks um, so I asked them to hold him for me and I went up there late afternoon thinking I was just gonna run in and get him I thought, let me just see if they've put out any new dolls. And right when I looked at them all and said, oh, they're all too pricey. I don't want to spend that much right now. Um, I saw this one. I've never known about her. Now, she was originally a doll that came out in 1959. And um, she was a, I, actually, it may not have been 1959. It may have been more early 60s. She, I think this is a re reproduction of a number four ponytail doll. Um, but she was a ponytail doll, and the outfit is gay Parisian. Um, and so, like I said, I've no, I knew that she was a vintage doll. I don't have a number four. Um, my ponytails are number fives. So, um, and I, I do have a lot of vintage outfits that I got in a haul, but I do not have the gay Parisian one. Um, so yeah, when I opened her up and I saw the price on her, I mean, she was a really good price. She was, this is a 1991 doll. And like I said, it's a reproduction of a 1959, a 1959 doll and it is porcelain. I do have one other porcelain doll. She's in my curio cabinet and she is a Christmas carol. And that was the first time when I saw her that I even knew they made porcelain Barbies. But, like I said, I had no idea they had a reproduction porcelain doll. And the box for 1991 is in great condition. I have all in and out of box dolls. If the box is real scummy looking, I'll take the doll out. But if the box looks good, most of the time I will leave the doll in. Um, and this comes with a little book, Gay Parisian 1959 Barbie Porcelain Treasures Collection. Limited edition, first in a series. And something I did not know that was a surprise, this is what I thought I was getting. Just this, just this outfit. I'm sorry if there's a blur or a, a light. A light um, what do you call it streak on the camera but this is the gay Parisian outfit well I started reading the book and I realized this doll also has this underneath so it's kind of like you get two outfits in one she has on some fancy lingerie underneath her gay Parisian outfit so I thought that was pretty cool because I didn't know I didn't know that when I bought the doll. Um, she does come with a stand. I'm 
what I love about her is she is so heavy compared to a regular Barbie. That's why I love the porcelain dolls. That is what she looks like. The original number one Barbies had the um, offset eyes and the white irises, and they had a real high arch in the eyebrows. That's usually how you can tell a number one doll or number one ponytail. Um, and then plus their holes in the feet. They were the only dolls to have the holes in the feet that fit directly on their stands. She is a brunette and the plastic is still on her ponytail. I'm going to take it off when I display her, but the only, di I mean, the difference in the reproduction dolls, you can always tell is they always have longer, softer, more hair. Um, and the bangs they usually have a lot of bangs on the reproductions. But, and she's got on her fur, her little pearl necklace, which has like a real clasp. Um, and then she has the little, little bow down here on her dress. She does have on white silk stockings. And I haven't undressed her to see what's underneath yet, but I will. So let's take off her. First, let me see how it's on. Okay. I'm glad I didn't just rip that. It's got the little, I don't know what kind of clasp you call that. But it's not just a snap. It's like a hook. And then the um, inside lining is pink and it says Barbie. She's got her little gloves and on the back of her dress that pretty bow right there and a zipper. Love to see a zipper or a snap. And this also the top of the dress has the little I don't know what it's called. Is it called eye hooks? Um, but then there is the zipper. You'll have to excuse my eye. I've got one eye that just runs constantly. Just always want to be careful with the zippers. If you pull her, her dress off, which I don't think anyone has ever removed her dress. Could be wrong. But it's on there pretty, pretty good like it's never been taken off let's see if I put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing it's kind of snug around her hips so you just want to take it off super careful and it's so cute Wow, Barbie. Super sexy. <laughs> Her little blue lace bra. And then she's got on, I don't even know what you call those. Um, just some little, hmm, I don't know, hose. Little thigh highs held up by, is it a girdle? Yes. I think it's called a girdle. Back in the day, the girdles held your tummy in. And it's actually two pieces. She has on her little girdle over her fancy underwear. So yeah, I'm in love with this doll and it has inspired me to get a silk stone. Now they did have some silk stones up there yesterday at the Rockstar Rust um, store. But she wanted like 400 and some dollars for each of them. And I was looking on eBay the other night and I did see a lingerie one that was $150. So I might start off with like $150 silkstone versus a $400 doll, um, which their booth does have 20% off right now. So if you were to get a doll that was $455, it'd come in under, you know, $400. It'd probably be like almost $100 off or $90 off. Um, but yeah, she's so cute. I was so happy to find her. 
and for that price because like I said I mean I guess their prices are good but they're still still pricey but they do carry the the um, rarer dolls that are harder to find so that's why I like to go there oh and let me show you that she also came with a little well she came with shoes but she also came with a little purse And I believe it's like a little, um, I guess that's like velvet. It does have a little silk lining or satin lining in it. And it shuts with a um, little clasp. Isn't that cute? I will definitely put that in her hand when she's on display. And the shoes are just the little black, um, I think they call them slides what all the vintage uh, late 50s early 60s dolls came in so those will be going on her and she'll be displayed in my curio cabinet um, and that's all I have for you today um, so yeah porcelain I don't know if the silk stones are porcelain or what the difference is I know they're super heavy but they, it might have been back when they were doing this porcelain series, the silk stones hadn't come out. I forget what year they came out. But anyways, all you guys out there, hope you have a great weekend. And um, if you liked my video, please remember to hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because I have so many dolls that I want to share. Baby dolls. Um, I've collected quite a few cabbage patches lately that I want to do some videos on. Um, I also got a little, um, well, she's a strawberry shortcake from like the early 2000s, but she's pretty cute. Um, I've gotten some Amer American Girl dolls. I did do a video on one of those. Um, I got a Miss Beasley recently. So yeah, I've just, I'm, I'm like hoarding dolls at this point, but I love it. Um... <laughs> I've got another room that my daughter moved out of, so I'll be making that into my second doll room. Um, I have to figure it all out, but um, yeah, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so that if I do come out with a new video, um, you guys will be the first to see it. So take care and have a doll-tastic day.